Hello, I'm here at Electronica 2022 and I'm pleased to be joined by Florian, who is the GNSS sales manager at Quectel. And today we're going to be talking about the company's high precision GNSS modules and antennas, and in particular, the world's first quad band module. So thanks very much for joining us, Florian. Why don't you start with an introduction to yourself? Thank you very much. Um, my name is Florian Bousquet. I'm senior GNSS sales manager at Quectel. I've been working in the GNSS industry for about 15 years, uh, and I'm a, in that sense, I'm a GNSS expert, um, and that's, I've been four years in the company. Perfect. So you're the perfect person to talk to. Um, but before we dive into the topic, why don't you tell us a bit more about the company? Sure. So um, Quectel is a leading provider of IoT solutions uh, with a, the broadest portfolio of IoT connectivity modules, uh, short range modules, GNSS antennas, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, as well as manufacturing capabilities. Fantastic. So why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the GNSS modules and antennas? What are some of the typical use cases? Sure. Um, so uh, we provide support to our customers who are looking for uh, meter level type of accuracy, such as, for example, trackers, can be a pet tracker or a car tracker. We also provide uh, solutions for um, use case looking for centimeter accuracy. In that case, we're talking about uh, outdoor robotic ma uh, machine guidance, mm -hmm. Uh, it can be smart agriculture or drones. We're also providing uh, products for uh, uh, timing infrastructure, looking for time synchronization, as well as automotive. Um, yeah. Fantastic. So we'll d uh, dive into some of those applications later. But for now, GNSS applications are not a, a one-size-fits-all. And there are some considerable challenges to find and adapt the right solutions to, to deliver their applications. So. What are these challenges and how does the company's products help overcome those? Um, so there are different type of challenges. Um, they can be, uh, for example, uh, power uh, challenges. They can be performance challenges, cost challenges, of course. Um, and uh, Quactel, because we, um, we uh, own our own manufacturing capabilities, we own as well uh, most of the IP in our product. We can be extremely cost competitive. Uh, we also have laboratories in different parts of the world where we can support our customers. Uh, we have a great uh, support team as well. Uh, uh, and that's how we basically uh, help our customers over overcoming sorry, their challenges. Excellent. So I understand that you've recently unveiled the industry first quad band GNSS module, which is the LG 290P. Um, can you tell us more about it? Sure. Um, so that's our uh, first uh, quad band module. That's the smallest and the lowest power quad band module uh, that has been released on the market so far. Uh, it's perfect for the most demanding high precision applications, which are um, outdoor robotics. Um, which are smart agriculture, surveying, any application requiring very, very precise positioning techniques um, and in challenging environment. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned something about this earlier, but the, the LG 290P offers instantaneous centimeter level accuracy um, across multiple environments. So what core technologies allow it to achieve this precision in, in urban areas and other you know, signal challenging environments? Yes, um, I've, uh, basically it's the fact that uh, we can use um, uh, tr tr three bands sorry, at the same time. So the L1 band, the L2 band, the L5 band, because the module supports them all, all the constellations of course, and then we can couple that with, our, uh, with the Quectel's know-how so we develop our own uh, positioning algorithms, um, and by doing so, we can we really manage the whole, uh, the, uh, the, the the positioning challenge, let's say, and and we can overcome those those challenges. Fantastic. Um, now I know that that you state that your quad band module um, can enhance the RTK um, fix rate by fifty percent um, in uh, in challenging conditions. So could you provide an example of how this? translates to, to improved performance in real world applications? Absolutely. Uh, think, for example, a um, robotic lawnmower mm -hmm. at home. I uh, think that uh, so far the, the, um, the uh, technology has been to put a boundary wire uh, around your, uh, your garden. 
um, now obviously uh, people would like to not have this uh, this, this hassle of putting the boundary wire. And if the mower knew at all time where it is and had a, had a map of the garden, then it could work without this, this wire. Now, GPS can offer that, high precision GPS can offer that. Now, uh, some of the gardens can be extremely cramped or you can have a wall or you can have trees. And this is of course a challenge for, for GNSS. Now with the, with the new LG 290P, we can overcome those challenges and enable lawnmowers to, uh, to work without boundary wires. Fantastic. And, and following on from that then, what emerging applications or industries are you particularly targeting with this module? Well, you know, you've mentioned a few already, but... Yeah. Uh, so obviously, robotic lawnmowers, are, as I mentioned, it can be any uh, outdoor robot. Um, it can be, for example, a delivery robot. It can be an agriculture robot um, or any type of uh, uh, robot that requires uh, machine guidance outdoors. Um, then we, we can also enable uh, applications such as, um, for example, uh, land monitoring uh, or survey, uh, surveying um, or uh, tractor steering, automatic uh, steering, for example, for uh, agriculture applications. Okay, and can you speak to the advantage of using the, the LG 290P for RTK enabled applications like, okay, you've mentioned autonomous lawnmowers. Um, what about, you know, sort of surveying equipment and compare it to, to your typical dual band modules? Yes. So, dual band has been the technology of choice for many, many years. Um, and it, it also comes with its challenges. And uh, when you're adding one more band, or actually two more bands, which we are doing with the LG 290P, you're, uh, you're enabling uh, the, uh, the, the high precision algorithm to work a lot better when it comes to a difficult environment. And we see that when we compare a quad band uh, module with a dual band module, that in extremely difficult environment, the centimeter accuracy uh, is extended by uh, another 50%. So in other words, when you're uh, getting into um, uh, locations where the dual band would not be able to provide a centimeter accurate position and that would be a problem for the lawnmower, for example, then the quad band can. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And I'm interested in the, the security side of things. So security features such as the ECC check and the secure boot have, have been highlighted for, for this product. How significant are these features in, in enhancing operational security for these autonomous and precision applications? Security and, and safety is, is our uh, first concern, of course, uh, especially for those autonomous applications that, that uh, are unmanned uh, and work by themselves. Uh, so, of course, we, we, we always strive to put the, most, the highest level of security in our products to avoid any um, uh, infringement or any, any problem with our product. And, and this has been the, the, the number one priority in developing this product. Excellent, good to hear. And, and given the, the speed and the t of the technological advancements around GNSS, how is the company, or how has the company designed this product to be, to be future-proof, essentially? Yes, um, so there are several aspects to that. First, the, um, our partner um, that we're using the, uh, to, to run our algorithm on, uh, the, 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 the chipset is extremely uh, flexible and, and supports all signals available today, all the modern signals available today. Um, and also the fact that we own the IP and we develop the, uh, the, the, the position, positioning sorry, algorithm make it so that <coughs> we are extremely flexible and can adapt mm -hmm. to any new signals coming up in the, in the future. That being said, we are also working on, on uh, new products uh, for this product line. So the LG 290P is the first of, of, of an, an entire series, let's say. And uh, we will also bring new uh, technology into the series, such as, for example, sensor fusion uh, for vehicle market, or a uh, heading application, uh, heading, sorry, uh, feature for, uh, for specific, for example, Compass mm -hmm. application. And in terms of, of customer support, how do you plan to assist um, your customers in, in, in integrating this product into existing systems, particularly those that are new to the technology? So um, together with me, uh, we have several uh, GNSS experts uh, on the field. We have uh, field engineers, um, we have our laboratories in, uh, in, in, in Belgrade, uh, so we can support our customers. We have all the test equipment required um, to support them. 
Uh, we also test ourselves in their uh, putting us in, uh, in their own shoes, uh, mm -hmm. as if we were in their own shoes. So we are testing, for example, when it comes to uh, lawnmowers, we have uh, our own lawnmowers to test. And that way we really ensure that the, the, the performance and, and the, final, uh, uh, the final product will, will be what they are requiring. Brilliant. And before we finish then, Florian, why don't you tell us a bit about your partnership with DigiKey and how you see that benefiting your customers? Mm -hmm. um, DigiKey is a key partner to us. Um, we, uh, it allows really our customers to get access, almost an instant access to our technology. Um, and um, we're really glad to work together and looking forward for a bright future. Yeah, as are we. Thank you very much. It was great to hear your insights. Thank you very much. Thank you.